the things that we've always sought to do in our business is support local on a lot of levels and one of the main things we do is we carry lake fish. So currently in our case we have catfish, white perch, yellow perch, silver bass, pickerel, white fish, and trout. So we smoke all of our own fish, so we brine it, we hot smoke it, which means that we smoke using heat. We don't, uh, we endeavor to actually cook the fish through the smoking method, not through the curing method. And then we take that smoked fish and we do what you do with a meat riette, which is you add a whole heck of a lot of fat. So we add a lot of cream, we add some butter, we add shallots, we add wine, um, and, then, uh, and then we fold in the smoked fish, add some fresh herbs and some cornichon, and that's what you have. Does everybody here had fish on papillote? It, it's, a, it's a pretty basic idea, but it's, it's a lovely one. And it's one of those things that can be made way ahead. Um, you can make this pretty much you know, earlier in the day, probably even the day before. And all I've done is pick out some really beautiful seasonal vegetables. So I have these, um, these are gorgeous yellow turnips from Soil Reputation Farm. It is handy when you are um, doing something like this on papillote. You want the vegetables to be cooked as well as the fish. Um, a ben mandolin or Ben Renner, those little like, things that everybody's scared of because they cut the tips of your fingers off, uh, make this for a really beautiful presentation. So what you do is you just literally, it's almost like a little canvas. I usually set a little mound of vegetables, a lot of different colors are nice. I have some beautiful Ontario leeks that I julienne this morning. And then I have some organic Ontario yellow carrots as well. And you just literally create a little nest and then put a nice sized portion of pickerel on top. I use a, a really great fleur de sel on everything. Um, always make sure you season this because what's going to happen is this is going to come out of the oven having been perfectly steamed in its own little parcel and you're going to open it and there's no opportunity to do anything else to it when people are about to eat it. So you really want to make sure all the seasoning and everything is right in there at once. We always like a little bit of butter. How much you add is up to you. That's appropriate to me. A <laughs> um, little bit more salt. And then what I did, we make our own fish stock in the store. So I made fish stock this morning. Um, I, I mounted it up with a, a bunch of, of really lovely white wine. And then I took, and you can, any, you can do kind of any herbaceous sauce with this, but we make a really delicious caper salsa verde that has um, you know, salted anchovy, it has salted capers, garlic, Dijon, um, basil, mint, parsley. And then I whisked that in at the end of it. And so basically, it's just a, a total you know, stock wine and a little bit of, of, um, of herbs. If you are the, on, the, on the side of, I like to buy prepared in a jar, basil pesto would work just fine in a pinch. Um, anyway, so you just spoon a little bit of this sauce around. And I'm doing it around because I don't really want the fish to be green. Ideally, when it's all done, I want the fish to be nice and white. But that's probably it. And then you just wrap it. And I'm not the prettiest wrapper, given my hand, but that's okay. We will make it work. Um, you literally just fold, maybe I'll do it this way. Fold this in half, and you're just creating a cool little pouch. Um, this isn't edible <laughs> when it comes out of the oven, but there have been times where um, I have watched people try to eat the parchment paper. So unless you're doing it in phyllo, it's not an edible thing. So usually what you just do is you just take one corner and you just start to fold over. And then you're going to throw this on a baking sheet. And I'm doing it here in a 425-ish degree oven. Um, you're each getting a little two ounce portion. It's probably going to take about six minutes. Um, another key thing, people in the store are always, uh, we, we try to give as many tips as we can to people as they're cooking. You know, going home to cook the fish they're buying so that they ensure that they get great results uh, when they bring the fish home. But probably the number one tip that people are always shocked by is we recommend that you pull your fish out of the fridge 20 to 30 minutes before you're going to cook it. You always want to start with fish that's room temperature, much like you would a steak. You start with an ice cold piece of fish. By the time it, the middle is cooked to where you want it, the outside is going to be drier than dry and it's just not doing any justice to the delicacy of the fish. So this is nice. This is definitely room temperature fish. It's been sitting out for a while. Lake pickerel is one of those fish, it's like the Bubba Gump of lake fish. You can steam it, you can broil it, you can fry it, you can poach it. As a whole steamed fish, it's one of my favorite, favorite things.